firefighters make a startling discovery after saving what they think is a litter of puppies. The Colorado Fire Department had been receiving SOS calls since the days its doors opened. The firefighters were accustomed to these calls and were very well prepared to deal with such situations. However, nothing could have prepared them for the call that these firefighters were about to receive. A team was sent to get eight puppies out of danger. A few hours down the line, and things started to unravel, and the revelation became evident that things weren't as they seemed. The puppies were hiding a secret that the firefighters couldn't have predicted. What happens next is guaranteed to shock you. The roles of being a firefighter. Even though it's in the name, firefighters aren't just required to put out fires. They have the responsibility of doing a lot more. Some of these responsibilities are to help animals in some sort of danger and help deal with medical emergencies. The Colorado Springs Fire Department is equipped with resources that are specifically designed for emergency response purposes. These resources are located all across the city and aid in reaching responses as quickly as possible. Having these resources helps the department get to most areas of the city in eight minutes. The Colorado Springs Fire Department is also in possession of the best equipment suitable for endless situations. The department has six truck companies, 22 engine companies, three medical squads, a heavy hazmat team, and a hazmat team. This helps prepare the department for any situation. The day started like any other day for the firefighters at the Colorado Springs Fire Department. There was no inkling for the situation that was about to unfold later on in the day. The firefighters deployed were yet to know what they were dealing with. The CSFD spotted nothing unusual when they received a call about animals in need of rescue services. A team was deployed to answer the request. They arrived at the site to take care of the animals within minutes of receiving the call. The firefighters at CSFD are trained in a specific way, and procedures are put in place when rescuing animals. Animals reacted differently when facing danger. These rules and training are provided to ensure the safety of the animals and firefighters. It's important to realize while reading this story that the firefighters had to be extremely careful with the way they handled the situation. Caution was a primary concern, especially as they were dealing with unknown animals. Therefore, they were unsure about the behaviors of these animals. The firefighters walked into the situation with confidence, as they knew what they were doing. They were well experienced with animal rescues and didn't have any concerns. The CSFD firefighters strongly believed they could handle the situation, despite not knowing what kind of animals they would be handling. The squad exited the truck without any hesitation. They made their way to where the animals were located. As they approached, they realized that the animals were stuck in a storm grate. This would undoubtedly get a lot worse if it happened to rain. The lack of rain meant that the animals weren't in any immediate danger. However, the firefighters knew rain or no rain, they needed to act fast. The storm grate was dark, deep, and cold. They knew they couldn't waste time. That's when they started thinking of a plan. The firefighters could tell that the animals were tiny and couldn't get out of the storm grate themselves. The team started to prepare for the rescue after deciding that they would need to send one or two of their men down to pull the animals out. The squad grouped together to lift the storm grate. They needed to do this to be able to see the bottom. Once lifting it, they could clearly hear the cries of the tiny animals. The firefighters realized that they were dealing with babies. The firefighters were puzzled as to why the poor animals were in the storm grate. This wasn't a suitable place for such tiny animals to be kept. Moreover, the baby's mother wasn't down there with them, which was even more puzzling. The firefighters still hadn't found out the species of animal they were dealing with. They also needed to figure out the sewer's layout because they couldn't go ahead with the rescue without this information. Moreover, they needed to take into consideration that the mother may be nearby. The squad working on the call was shocked that the animals were still alive, given the conditions they were in. The tiny animals had no access to warmth or food and were surrounded by dirt and garbage. It was unsure if the animals would make it, but it didn't stop the team from trying to help. The whole situation needed to be dealt with with complete caution. The mother may return to rescue her babies. Otherwise, the mother may have refused to come back and look after her babies once the firefighters had touched them. They needed to decide what they wanted to do fast. The firefighters were still unsure about whether to rescue the babies or not. Hoping the mother would come back and look after her little ones was another option. However, one thing they knew they needed to find out was the kind of animal the babies were. 
the team was unable to determine the type of animal. They would only be able to do this once the babies were out of the storm grate. The firefighters knew that the babies would need immediate help if they were domestic and have a better chance at survival if they were wild. Those answering the call decided to continue with the rescue. They wore gloves to ensure their scent wasn't left on the babies. A sheet was placed beside the sewer. This was where the babies were going to be set to keep them from harm. A member of the squad carefully went into the sewer to rescue one of the babies. Everyone at the location was shocked at the sight of how small the animal was. The creature began to roll around as soon as it was placed on the sheet. After the first rescue, the firefighters were finally able to identify the creature. The poor little creatures were puppies. These puppies obviously had no business being in the sewer, and the team was still stumped as to what they were doing there. It was an upsetting sight to see the abandoned puppies in the sewer. The firefighters were left to wonder if someone had put them down there. It wasn't unheard of for owners to discard of their animals when they were no longer wanted. However, the team hoped this wasn't the case. It would definitely be saddening if these puppies were indeed abandoned. Yet, their job wasn't over, and they picked up the pace to rescue the remaining puppies in the sewer. The rescue was now more straightforward as they knew what animal they were working with. The rescue proved to be an excellent opportunity for a lesson to be learned. The lesson was not to leave their unwanted pets in a dangerous environment. There were far better solutions if pet owners were incapable of looking after them. The firemen didn't know how many puppies they were dealing with, and the only way to find out was to get them out. Luckily, it wasn't that deep, so they could efficiently conduct the rescue effectively. It looked like the puppies had been in the sewer for days. The tiny creatures grouped together for warmth once they were laid on the sheet beside the sewer. Everyone at the site was completely confused as to how or why these puppies had landed there. That's when they decided to call the lady that reported the problem. The lady told the firefighters that she called them because she saw the puppies get swept into the storm drain by a stream. There was relief at the fact that they had not been left there by someone who didn't want the animals. The firefighters were thankfully wrong, and it turned out that the puppies were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Luckily, it wasn't more tragic, and the firefighters were able to come and rescue them before a storm hit. The woman stated that she tried to catch up to the puppies after seeing them get swept away. However, she couldn't get there in time. She also tried to open the grate, but she didn't have the right tools to do it. The lady knew she couldn't do it herself. That's when she called in for professional help. It helped the situation that the firefighters had the right tools and skills to get the job done and successfully get the puppies out of harm's way. The crew was thrilled to hear what the lady had done. They hoped that this would be a good example for other members of the community to follow. The example was that if they saw something wrong, they would make the necessary calls to fix it. Once the puppies were safe from harm, they began to guess what kind of dogs they were. From their appearance, many of the firefighters believed that they were Labradors. This was due to their short, wiry hair and their dark fur. Once the rescue was complete, the firefighters took them to their next destination. Here, they would have everything checked out to make sure they were in a healthy condition. This destination was a humane society, where the puppies would be safe. The job was finally completed when the squad heard back from the Humane Society. Rather than being malnourished, the puppies were actually in excellent health. They were fit and strong, and you couldn't tell that they had endured being in the sewer. Mark Jenkins was one of the firefighters that worked on the rescue. He left his number with the Humane Society to send him any updates on the puppies. To his surprise, he received a call a lot sooner than he expected. The vet first started the conversation by saying that it was great that the firefighters brought the puppies to them. He assured Mark that they were doing well and in incredible health. However, what he said next was shocking, to say the least. What the vet disclosed to Mark was something he would never have thought of. All of the firefighters had been entirely wrong. The puppies weren't Labradors. In fact, they weren't even puppies. Mark had to check to see if he heard right, it was that unexpected. Mark couldn't believe his ears. The puppies were actually baby foxes. This is what the vet told the firefighter. Of course, it took Mark some time to come to terms with what he had just heard. It was something he never in a million years would have thought of. Mark's first thought was how stupid the team must be that everyone thought that baby foxes were Labrador puppies. However, the vet explained that puppies and fox cubs tend to look very similar when they are newborns. Despite the name, red foxes weren't actually red. 
When Mark informed the team about what he had been told, they couldn't believe it either. Everyone was so sure that they were puppies. Nonetheless, the team was just happy that they were safe and healthy, and that the rescue went down smoothly.